Hey guys, welcome back to Be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful. Uh, today here we are with episode, I think, 35, if that's correct. Um, shortly after Valentine's Day 2020. And so while I may be a week or so behind, the topic today is love. Not just any love, but all love. Love in all of its forms, in fact. Um, you know, I know I've talked to you guys in the past about my self-journal, and I think I did a whole episode around being joyfully productive and how each day I put that as a goal for the day. Uh, one of the other things that, that I've found to be repetitious that is serving me and my other aspects of my self-journal, that there's a, a section where you write down gratitude at the beginning of each day, at the end of each day, of what, what you're grateful for. And certainly for the past year, I think uh, a common sentence or statement or something that I'm grateful for has been love in all its forms. And what that actually means to me, in case you're wondering, and I hope you are since you've made it this far <laughs> into the into the episode, is that there are so many different types of love and it's not just romantic and family and there are, you know, love of a memory. There are love, uh, there is love of weather. There is love of the being. There is so many different moments where you can love just about anything and it, and each thing I believe is going to be different. You know, depending on how you love, each thing is going to be different. And the type of love that is created from you, uh, based on the experience, the person, place, thing, uh, whatever it may be, is going to be different each time, or can be different in multiple different ways. And so, really just as I was thinking about Valentine's Day, I just kind of wanted to do a shout out to love um, in all of its forms. And sometimes it's, you know, a love of an experience that wasn't a good one, love, love from the lesson from an experience. Sometimes it's love for a family member. Uh, sometimes it's love for, um, I don't know, just, just life in general, right? Sometimes it can be love for a pet. There's so many different ways to just feel, uh, in, in a sense, it's, it's another form of gratitude of experience, right? I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that I experienced this, this thing or this moment where I was with a person or, or in a place uh, that I'm just filled with joy and gratitude for that. And that in itself is love. And so really when it comes down to it, the reason I'm bringing this up is the more we can do this, it really is the answer. I know that's an old cliche coming from at least the 60s, <laughs> if not for millions of years beforehand, or uh, th thousands of years anyway. Um, really, man, the more we practice love towards ourselves, towards each other, towards life. Um, I love lamp, right? As the famous Brick Cannon said, the more we can create love for no other reason than accept that it feels good and it serves our future, uh, I think the better off we will be and the easier path will be. And at any point when you're feeling stressed, you're feeling overwhelmed, uh, sometimes there's an easy opportunity just to create joy and love uh, for something. Think of something or somebody you love. Think of an experience that was so, that you say, oh, I love that night. I love that day. I love that vacation. I love that animal. Uh, I love that person. I love whatever it may be. I love that job. I love that project. There's all sorts of different types of love. And so when I show gratitude for love in all its forms, it really is, in a sense, just um, really recognizing that every moment is truly a gift. And there are so many different ways to create love uh, in any given point in our lives. And so, I, you know, as I wrap up today's monologue, uh, I just want to recommend to you, try to think how, more, how much more you can create love. How many more times throughout your day you can pause for a moment to think about what you love, who you love, how you love. Um, you know, sprinkle in some gratitude, sprinkle around some joy, some patience, some presence, some joy. You know the scoop. Um, and I think you'll be better off. And I think the people around you will be better off. And therefore, that will be reflected back to you as well. So it's the cycle of awesomeness. Love as often as possible. It is the answer. Step into it with greatness and joy and gratitude for the future you're creating uh, and you'll be in a good space. Uh, as always, Be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful is the name of the podcast. It's also the name of my book. I'd love for you to check it out. You can check it out at ryanstanley.com. Uh, be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful. Really, actually, if you just search Be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful.com, it'll end on my page as well. But you can also get it on Amazon or Barnes & Nobles or anywhere books are sold uh, if you order it from my website. Not only does it come with a signed copy of the book, but you also get a free coaching session. Um I'd love to hear from you, your thoughts on love. Am I right? Am I? Do you see value in love? I know it sounds like a silly thing. Of course, most people do, but maybe some people don't. So feel free to message me social on social media anywhere you want. 
Um, if you're seeing this on my website, ryanstanley.com, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on love. Um, and maybe in, in some other forms, forms of love that I haven't thought of yet. Anyway, I love you. I love Lamp. I am appreciative of you being here and making the time to listen to this, and I hope that it serves you uh, in some capacity, and I genuinely appreciate your awesomeness. Thanks for being you.